you can you could see, uh, especially the way they started the second half. Uh, that's a good team. Uh, that team's got it. Will compete with Harvard and probably Princeton for the Ivy League title. Um, and um, they were without their arguably their best player, their point guard. Um, so it was fortunate for us. That team did beat Villanova early in the year. Played Kentucky. I think it was close at about ten. Um, and so they weren't going to be really super impressed with us. You know, those are pretty high-level guys. Um, but I thought, again, that our, our, our front line, um, you know, obviously Janai Broom dominated uh, in there. And um, um, we, we shared it. Um, and, uh, you know, we, do, we just we obviously took care of business. Okay, now we get a really good conference play. Our first two opponents have, you know, beaten us uh, Arkansas, two out of the last three times we played them. Uh, they, last time we were at Arkansas, they stormed the court when we were number one in the country. Uh, we've won there before, um, but it'll be, it'll be everything we want and then some. Uh, and then we bring Texas A&M in uh, next Tuesday. Um, and they've had our number. So it's not the easiest way to start uh, the conference, but we're playing well right now. And so that's, that's a very positive thing heading in. And 11-2. Um, you know, finishes up our non-conference schedule um, and the math as far as our Kempom and, you know, things along those lines. You know, we've, we're in position to be in position. Um, and um, over the last seven years, we've got the best non-conference winning percentage in the SEC. That matters to me um, because, obviously, um, we wanted to raise Auburn, the credibility of Auburn basketball um, and, and our, you know, um, it's just, uh, it just, the math matters. And so if you're in our league and you're a bad number, then you bring the whole league down. You just bring them down. And then if you beat, if you have a chance that you're in a league play and you've got a bad number and you beat somebody a couple times, knock them out of the tournament. And I just didn't ever, I did not want Auburn to be that. And it had been that for a long time. So I'm very pleased that, uh, that this team continued to add to the history. Uh, Coach, seven different players hit a three for you tonight. Um, coming into the season, is this what you envisioned from a shooting standpoint that Auburn would be able to get back to this kind of shooting? Yeah, I, I, I thought um, you know that we could shoot it for sure. And um, you know, the only the game, the one game we didn't shoot it well was App State. Um, but I have confidence in, in all those guys to shoot it. And now with Janai making three tonight, it's great that you know he's seeing the ball go in right now, and it's going to make us better offensively. Um, and, um, and so I'm, 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 I'm obviously excited about that. Um, you know, Penn packed it in and they just, the lane was crowded and it was hard to get the ball posted up inside and it was hard to drive it and get to the rim. Um, so the shots were open and fortunately they made, they made, they made shots and, and, um, and that was a factor. BP, you just mentioned it, but Janai hadn't hit a three since the Notre Dame game. He hits three tonight. Just how much better does that make you guys on offense? And also just how much have you seen him just keep working on that shot and still having the confidence to, to knock it down? Yeah, no, it's been uh, – it's just been one of those things where he hasn't gotten that many great looks. He got better clean looks tonight. He took them in rhythm. Um, he's just got such a great offensive pace to his game. He just doesn't rush. Got great. He's a great athlete. He's got great balance and – and um, he's able to do, you know, he's able to do a lot of things in there offensively. Scores with his back to the basket. He's old school. Um, you know, stepping to the foul line and making free throws is obviously really important. He works at it, you know. And, and I heard Peyton Manning, you know, say, uh, you know, I heard, just, I don't know how recently he said it, but he said that when your best players are your hardest workers um, and when your best players um, are locked in, he says it sets the tone. He talked about how rookies would come in and they'd see the vets and the great players and they'd be in film taking notes. And so then they'd start taking notes. First guy in, last guy out. And they go, the young guy, oh, oh, that's, that's Indianapolis Colts football or you know, Denver Broncos football or Auburn basketball. So Janai is sort of taking that responsibility. I, I think that we're going to go on as far as he takes us, on and off the court as a leader. Just following up on that, when he was in here just a moment ago, 
Janai mentioned kind of doing shooting drills with Aiden Denver, kind of top top three point shooters on the team. How have you seen that extra work he's put in, kind of help him develop as a shooter? Well, I think I've told you guys. I think this is one of the hardest working teams I've had, and those guys are in the gym. And um, and 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 you know, obviously, you know, Janai can you know shoot you know with the best of them. Um, and um, again, putting in the time and and look as a, as a play caller. If I if I can bring the opponent's big out away from the basket, that opens the rim for everybody else. So his ability to, to shoot it and the the need to guard him is is as important as anything. And he feels good about himself. He obviously feels good about himself. Penn gets off to a good start in the second half, and then uh, Chad hits a couple of big shots. KD gets those steals and in, in, in transition. I mean, it's kind of been the thing for them. How much of a spark plug were they tonight, and, and how key is that for y'all as y'all going to SEC play? That, that, that second group has definitely sparked us, particularly in the defensive end. I thought this was one of KD Johnson's best games because he did it at both ends of the floor. He had four assists, no turnovers. He rebounded the ball. He took good shots. He made plays defensively, um, and he didn't make negative plays. Uh, he had his motions under control, and, and uh, he played really, really hard, really, really solid. He played really effectively. Um, Chad Baker is just a great offensive player. He's got such feel. I trust him with the ball. Uh, tonight he was able to get, you know, a few more shots up. He leads our team in assist turnover, you know, kind of ratio. Um, and so I trust him with the ball to be able to make passes, um, be unselfish, and, and he can make open shots. He's got really good instincts defensively. Um, thought those guys, you know, played, played really well. Um, point guards didn't shoot it very well, uh, but they, but they, you know, obviously didn't turn the ball over either. So, um, you know, overall it was, but, 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 I think now I just now it, the whole thing's gonna step up physically, and and um, the last time we played a true road game, uh, we didn't shoot it very well, and uh, and and so we're gonna go to Arkansas, we're gonna make shots. Coach Kent, starting SEC play, can you talk about your point guard tandem? Um, Aiden, maybe not so hot, you know, just shooting tonight, but you you seem to have a lot of confidence in those two guys. What well, do those, those rotations those, look like? You know what? Team scout, too. And so they're not going to just let – they're not going to go under on Aiden. They're going to come out there and blitz him and, and not let him have those open shots. And if that, there's nothing you can do about it. And so he's got to become a more of a playmaker on those nights. And then, you know, obviously – those are my two youngest players, and 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 in the area of youth, they're both fine offensively. They're gifted. They can both shoot it from anywhere on the court. They can play make. They don't turn the ball over. Offensively, those are two really good point guards. Defensively, they're going to have to step up, and and I know they both can. They're both working at it. 